You, you guys not getting this. Some people still thinking this is about money. The port, the strike is happening. The strike is happening. We, the ports that are closing intakes 63% of our products, our commodity into the United States. 63%. If you lose $63 out of $100, it's a huge difference. The 37 is not going to get you far. Guys, that's that's what's getting ready to happen. And and you still thinking that something's going to be done. What scares me the most is the is the president of the United States. Instead of him. The day that he was briefed. The, the, the day that he was briefed, the man said, I will not get in the middle of their collective bargaining. It's, it's, it's the reason why they gave why he has the power. To veto it. Biden can stop it all right now. And give all of us back peace of mind. It alarms me that he didn't even stop and think. Let me just think on it a day or two. This man has been groomed to be president. He was groomed to be in politics since he was a boy. And you think. That he ain't put thought in this. And you guys are still asking yourself how the election can be delayed. Let's think about it. If only 37 percent of our intake, our commodity is coming in. Now, when you go to the store and a pack of chicken used to be $10 because they had 500 of them back there to sell or 5,000 of them back there to sell. And now you go there and, and they only got 200 to sell. So it's no longer $10. Now it's 23, $24. That's what we're getting ready to be dealing with. And if, if, if you don't... If you don't take this serious, man, and you have a family, now you could probably, if you don't take this serious and you don't have a family, man, you're getting ready to fail your family. Guys, what they're asking for is a raise and basically concrete placement. The port is never going to do that. Automation has been going on since we can 60s, 70s, you just have full service gas stations. You don't know no full service gas stations because now uh, it's, it's nobody cares about putting a pump, doing the pump themselves and not because they don't have to go all the way indoors. They can just do it at the pump. So so that saves the walk. So there, there's no point of full service. And then they got uh, 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 car washes at the gas stations. So if you want to get your car clean, we've been heading towards automation since we can think and and. Right now, the union is getting ready to that they're not backing down. They don't just want money. They want no automation in the port and never do that. That's why this that's why we're getting ready to be affected. I really wish the union members would just say, man, look, just give us the money. We'll we'll, we'll figure it out when, when that time come. Us as American people, we could be like to ensure that our families still have food to eat on. I want us to have the choice of being able to decide what I want to eat tonight. I want to have the choice of not having to worry about if my neighbor going to run in my house because he's ran out of food. So since I still want that choice, add it to my taxes. That's just if it give us the American people. We'll pay 45,000 of them. We'll figure that out. It ain't going to cost us too much. This is not about money. This is not. And the port is never going to do that. Guys, we're getting ready to experience something we've never experienced before ever. And it's strange that our, that the president of the United States decides to, 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 to not intervene. That makes no sense to me. You want to ask me, why, why do I feel like this can delay the elections? Because I'm telling you, within five days, you'll start seeing shortage on everything. Within 12 days, you'll start seeing prices go up on everything. On the 24th day, it's probably going to be some, some major like, hey, they're going to have media showing a, a Walmart to a no meat at all. That's how quick it's going to happen. 63 percent we're getting ready to lose 63 percent of our intake our outtake is our bottom dollar our intake affects our daily prices and you guys are still not taking this serious this is the biggest threat to america this is this is more of a threat to america than russia this is more of a threat to america than china this is our own people and these union ain't backing down 
But what's going to happen is people are going to start calling these union members out. Hey, man, I'm sitting here. They're going to start posting videos. They make sure everybody got a phone. I'm sitting here. They're going to be showing it all off. They no, no, they going to be eating peas or something. I'm just hey, happy to be able to eat. Then they're going to have little dumb, dumb, dumb ass TikToks of people. This is how they're going to make dumb ass. They're going to keep you guys entertained with, with TikTok videos of how to make peas taste better and, 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 and have a good night out of it. That's what we're headed towards. I'm forewarning you guys. Another thing I want to speak to you guys about is this. I, I'm going to say this before I get to this. Prepare yourself. Go get your family food, fuel, uh, uh, water. Go get them every everything that y'all need, man. If you if you can do it, go get it. And go get you some ammunition. I'm telling you. Make just make sure you can protect your family. That's all. And not saying anything's gonna happen. You just want it. It's about to get crazy. I'm not here to lie to you folks, man. I, I just started a tick I just started this TikTok and I did it to to make sure my political reviews are are, are lining up the way I, I I thought they were. And so I just happened to just hear something and let you guys in on it I, I, on, I always felt like the October 3rd is just coming to my mind too much I don't know I truly feel something's going to happen on October 3rd one of the things that's going on on, on, on October 3rd is, uh, I wrote it down it's called uh, Rosh Hashanah Day it's, it's Jewish New Year it basically symbolizes a new universe a new year it's exactly 33 days before our election. It's exactly 33 days before our election. I feel like something's going to happen. I don't know. It could be good. It could be bad. I, I feel like it's going to be bad. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even going to sugarcoat anything with you guys. I'm nervous to talk about this. I'm telling you straight facts. But the difference is, is I care about my family. And for me, I go for mine. And just like you'll go for yours. Guys, we're getting ready to experience and some of the worst times ever what these union members do at this port i told you it's very complex I, I i did work there not anyone can do that's why they feel strongly that the the port is going to give in but the world has already showed them is automation is inevident in, in it's going to happen with or without you they they did it in california they're not going to promise these people that and the union members are, 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 are getting ready to bargain with the American people. And, and the sad thing is, is they're going to have families to feed, too. And that's what's going to make it tough, because some of them going to be like, man, I, you know what, man? I, I'd rather go back to work for my, my family go without eating again. And the thing about it, the organization going to say, we're not going back. And, and the thing, guess who has the contract? The organization has the contract. So you can't the union members can't even be like without without the approval of without the approval of the union. They can't even go back to work. They can be out there doing the work and everything. They're not gonna get paid. And, and 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 thing is, they wouldn't even let them on. The union will probably start prosecuting their own people for not standing by with it. I'm telling you, man. I don't. I don't know, man. It's. I'm telling you guys to prepare. I'm telling you, man. Did you know over in Nigeria, 